What is going on, people? It is your boy, Daddy Mac, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shields Wi-Fi battle. We are, uh, we are up against Holden, who's bringing a really cool rain team. Obviously, the scariest Pokemon in this team is probably going to be the Barrascuda, so weather is going to be a really big factor in this battle. Um, it's going to depend if it's Pelipper slower. So what I'm going to do, just to start things off, I want to start with the Cloyster, just in case he does set up the, uh, the rain, for example. We can uh, Shell Smash and then uh, try to Rock Blast at least. So this is going to be a battle and I'm not looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. What am, who am I kidding? I'm really excited to, uh, for today's Wi-Fi battle because we're trying to shake off a losing streak, okay? I'm not trying to lose anymore. I had a practice battle with this team and I did pretty good overall. So this thing gets close combat. Um... I'm not, I don't plan on staying in with this. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go Hitmontop. If he wants to go close combat, so be it. Hitmontop has the Intimidate. So there you go. A quick announcement that I wanna tell you guys. Um, so this Friday's Wi-Fi battle um, is gonna be the last one for the next week. And the reason being is because I was right about that. It still t it still does have damage. That's probably a banded um, Barrascuda. My question is, are you gonna switch out? That's a life orb, actually. That still does a lot of damage. We're going to fake out. But as I was saying, the Crown Tundra comes out this Thursday. And I'm so excited about it that I'm going to do a video showcasing the, count, uh, the Crown Tundra. For those of you who have not... Um, who, for those of you who don't plan on buying it quite yet, you guys can see my experience with the Crown Tundra. I'm really hyped up for it because it has some, a lot of new Pokemon that I really want to try. Including the Reggie Drake. Um, I think that's what it was called. I don't remember. But... Yeah, I'm really excited. You guys should be excited too. You guys should check it out. All right, Poison Jab. We should be able to take it. Taking that perfectly fine. Barrascuda, the biggest threat in this team, is now going down. I'm excited for that. I wonder why, because Barrascuda not only has Turn Flip in this generation, uh, ever since the Isle of Armor was released, of course, but um, it has Swift Swim. So this Pokemon can be a really big problem to opposing teams. All right, here comes the Pelipper. He's going to hit up the Drizzle. And you know what I'm going to do? I know Ninetales is weak, but I'm going to go ahead and go Ninetales, change up the weather a little bit. If he goes for the water type attack, we should be able to take it. So this is where the weather co the weather war comes into play. We're in Generation 5 all over again. Except Pelipper didn't have Drizzle back then. All right, go for the water type attack. Miss. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I needed right there. So, um, I, I don't think he's going to go Ferrothorn. What I'm going to do is just hit up the Solar Beam right away. Hit up the Solar Beam. If you want to switch, switch out, which he's not, surprisingly. Please knock this Pelipper out. I know Pelippers tend to be pretty bulky at times, depending on how you train him up. So, it does half. I'll take that. Scald. It's going to do some damage, but not a whole lot. Not Nothing that worries me, at least. And then, I kind of want to flamethrower here. So flamethrower times stab, 1.5. That means half of 90 is what, 45? I think flamethrower is going to be a little bit more effective. So just in case he decides to go Ferrothorn. Ah, ah, that's very smart. Very, very smart. So I'm not going to predict Ferrothorn out this time. What I'm going to do is set up another Solar Beam here in case he decides to stay in or switch out to another Pokemon, for example. So far, such a good start with this team. Such a good start here. Solar Beam again is going to knock the Pelipper out. Look at this. We got rid of the Rain, number one. And number two, we got rid of the Rain Setter. So that's really that's a relief for me. Ninetales and Venusaur are really going to be big factors in this battle that I plan to keep around. Seismitoad comes out next. Um, I should outspeed you, right? I'm going to Solar Beam. Why did you go to? So Why did he go to size? Why did he go to size? Honestly, I would have gone for a Ludicolo or something. Oh, that's why. So now, if you knock out my Ninetales, Venusaur is kind of in trouble. It comes again. Knock it out, please. Not knocking it out. You're going to go for the Earthquake, and I'm going down instead. Earth Power. Okay. You're still going for the Ground-type attack, and we go down also. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. 
I can't necessarily go for the Venusaur as much as I want to. I think we go Palisand here. We're gonna go Palisand. And then we're gonna try to we, we're gonna try to hit the Giga Drain. We're gonna try to hit the Giga Drain. If you hit me with the water type attack, I'm actually gonna appreciate that. Hydro Pump, and he misses. That's a shame. That's a big shame. For both him and I, because I wanted that plus two defense. Seismitoad goes down. And I think uh, this next turn is going to be the last turn of Sun. Ludicolo comes out. My question is, is, are you physical or special? And also, what do you have in the back that concerns me at this point? Nothing much. The Raichu because of the Sash, if anything. So I'm going to Stealth Rock here. If you decide to hit me with the special type attack. Oh, Ice Beam. That's actually a lot better for you. We should be able to take at least one, which we do. And the Stealth Rock comes up. Okay. I think Palosan did a good job. I don't think we need him at this point. So I'm going to let Palosan just go down. Um, I am going to spam a couple of, of um, Giga Drains here. Just because. And we're going to go from there. Such a good Wi-Fi battle so far. Energy Ball. It's going to knock me out. You should have gone for the uh, Energy Ball to begin with, in my opinion. Not bad. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do next. Sun is gone. His water type attacks are going to do a lot of damage again. I'm going to go into my Hitmon top. I'm going to get the... Uh, well, the uh, Intimidate doesn't matter, but I'm going to fake out here. I'm going to fake him out, just in case. Look, we both dancers now. Okay. We're going to fake out, just like we planned. Nothing new. Um... My, I don't, oh, you have fake out also. What? That's hilarious. Why did he try to fake me out though, if it's not gonna work? Um, I'm, uh, do I want to switch? I kinda do, I kinda don't. I kinda do and kinda don't. I'm gonna close combat here. We're gonna let him on top, hit him on top go down. Energy ball. I'm assault vest, can I take one? Boys, that's what I'm talking about. And Ludicolo goes down. Woo! Woo! This team got me hyped up right now. They got me hyped up right now. And Montop is a little bit a little bit slow movement, but that's because he's tired. Rightfully so, hit Montop. You've, you've been toughing it out. You've been toughing it out. What are you guys excited for in Pokemon Sword and Shield the Crown Tundra? Also, do you guys think there's gonna be Sinnoh remakes after this DLC? Um, with well this next next upcoming year in November or do you think there's gonna be a third DLC for the crown or for Pokemon Sword and Shield let me know your guys thoughts in the comment section down below because I am interested in talking about Pokemon Sword and Shield the crown tundra and uh, he's now thinking I personally if I were in his shoes I would go for the Ferrothorn or the Raichu actually Ferrothorn it is I would have gone Raichu to be honest because I, if I outspeed this thing, I'm threatening him with the close combat. I think I outspeed. I do. And you should be able to... Be, he's not going down, but it was close. And I'm going down because of the uh, iron barbs. Which I don't mind. I really don't mind. Hi, Montop. You did a fantastic job, my friend. Great job. Gyro Ball comes out. No, no, nothing uh, that really concerns me as far as that goes. Do I want to go Luxray or Cloyster? I'm going to go Cloyster here. I'm going to go Cloyster. This thing does um, scare me with the Power Whip. But I'm going to I'm gonna take the opportunity to try to uh, Shell Smash and call it, a, call it a battle. This was a kind of a quick battle, but it was a really good one in my opinion. So Shell Smash goes into effect. My special defense falls um, and my defense, which doesn't matter because I do got the White Herb. And hopefully, we should be able to take an attack from this Fredo Thorn. Gyro Ball, not, it's neutral, right? Still does a lot of damage. Okay, we should be able to take an attack from this thing, and Raichu's gonna go down. It's GG, my friend, 3-0. We finally, finally, fingers crossed, assuming everything goes exactly as planned, we finally got out of the losing streak. Finally. Finally, finally. We, we lost like three battles in a row. It was really bad. Spoiler alert. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Raichu comes out. We're just going to hit an Icicle Spear. And it should knock it out in one attack. Given that it's a little frail Pokemon, right? There you go. Nope. Two. 
Two hits. I'm guessing two hits right now. That was a really good battle. <laughs> I really had a good time in this battle. I think we started off pretty strong also. I don't even remember who we started with or who I started with, to be honest. But that is going to be the Wi-Fi battle for today. I'm going to record one more before I go to work. I got 30 minutes. Um, and that's going to be Friday's video. But thank you guys so much for watching. It's your boy, Daddy Max, signing off. Um, Gavin, I'm taking your lead card because that was a good battle. Weather Wars. I have not had a Weather War battle since Generation 5. And uh, that was absolutely beautiful. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Oh, 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 oh,